Welcome to this video, where we will explore the Kahar 313 Iran's homegrown stealth fighter jet. The Kahar 313 was first unveiled in 2013 with a press presentation by then-President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad and Defense Minister Ahmad Vahidi. Iran claimed that the Kahar 313 was a fifth-generation stealth fighter capable of carrying a variety of weapons and flying at low altitudes with a low radar signature. But how true were these claims, and what is the current status of the Kahar 313 project? Let's figure it out. The Kahar 313, which means Conqueror 313 in Persian, was designed and produced by the Iran Aviation Industries Organization, a division of the Ministry of Defense. The project manager was Hassan Parvane. The aircraft design was Anard configuration in a twin tail form. Iran said that the Kahar 313 could carry two two 0,000 pound bombs, multiple smaller smart guided missiles, or at least six air to air missiles. Iran also said that the Kahar 313 had a small radar cross section and that it used advanced materials and technologies. However, many experts and analysts were skeptical about the Kahar 313's capabilities and viability. They pointed out several flaws and inconsistencies in the Kahar 313's design and appearance, such as the cockpit was too small to fit a human pilot and the canopy was made of plastic. The air intakes were too small to feed enough air to the engine and they were located above the wing, which would cause turbulence and airflow problems at high angles of attack. The wings and control surfaces were too small and simple to provide enough lift and maneuverability, and the engine exhaust nozzle was not shaped or coated to reduce infrared signature. Many observers concluded that the Kahair 313 was not a real stealth fighter, but a mock-up or a prototype of a light attack aircraft at best. They also doubted that Iran had the necessary technology and expertise to develop a fifth-generation stealth fighter, given the sanctions and isolation that Iran faced from the international community. Some suggested that the KR-313 was a propaganda stunt, intended to boost Iran's domestic morale and regional prestige. Since the KR-313's debut in 2013, there has been little information or evidence about its progress or performance, Iran has not released any video or photo of the Kahir 313 flying or testing, nor has it displayed the Kahir 313 at any air show or military parade. In 2020, Iran announced that it was ready to convert the Kahir 313 into an unmanned aerial vehicle or a drone, but it did not provide any details or timeline for this plan. It is unclear whether the Kahir 313 project is still active or abandoned, and whether Iran will ever achieve its goal of producing a stealth fighter.